Oh, jeez. I'm sorry, Aquarius. Oh, actually, I'm gonna put on my headphones because I have been told you can't always hear me, so. Okay, hopefully you can hear me just fine. So I did this and then I have to redo it because I forgot to put the body parts in it. We got to talk about um, Pluto, right? So those are the regenerative organs. So this transformation comes from a very primal place, which just feels like this feels very primal, this reading. A very Capricorn season. But it also talks about death, which is also we're in that time, whether you live in an area where there's winter or not, that's what Capricorn is associated with. Um, temperance is related to Sag, which is hips and thighs, which is the forward movement, right? So we have this regeneration and forward movement that feels like, okay, I know this is going to take some time. Whatever I'm seeing out, you feel secure enough in yourself to look at this vast place and where your place is in it. And you know that the Knight of Pentacles is like, okay, it could take some time. But also if there is someone in your life, maybe in a cancer in your life, who has told you or has tried, has made themselves known to you in a way that is romantic, um, being honest with someone with where you're at right now is important to any growth or health of your relationships, whether it's relationship with people or your work it doesn't matter because this outlook that you're having is a very real one it's still big and there's dreams involved but there's a reality base to it there is um again this investment this time that's been that's been made clear but the one thing that's even clear is that this confidence, regardless if you're right, wrong, fail, go left or right, is a requirement. Especially if you're needing to, especially if you are connecting with or coming into contact with the parts of yourself that are intuitive, your intuition, you may find that this instinctually allows you to grow with your emotions, allows you to, and it reveals that to you through conversations and even through who you may be attracting in your life what kind of conversations you're attracting, kinds of people. And for those of you who may be approached by someone who you feel is a bullshitter, you just got to call them out for it or just walk away. There's this deeper connection between the guidelines or rules or parameters you give yourself and how much you let yourself feel. And there is something that you've become warm and cozy to. And you're able to connect with what you weren't seeing in that way and what you can now see and really can't hide away from it's how interestingly enough the regenerative organs right then we have the hips and thighs and then we have the moon which is cancer but the moon is also rule um rules over the stomach breast and digestion so you may be digesting i think the reason why this is so clear is because you are digesting a lot and in a way that you are perhaps integrating. You may, and you also have like an emphasis 
in these areas with the Cancer card coming out, the Pluto card coming out. Um, yes, we are in the masculine sign and season, but this is like the motherly, which goes back to that full moon in Cancer, where now you are being not only like shown, told, guided, but like almost demanded that you again take responsibility for this direction, this purpose that you're in. This place where you can navigate in a way where it's not all on you, where the control is out there's that most of the control is outside of what you can actually do. What you can do is connect with the part in the remembrance of yourself. So we have Cancer and Leo, one right after the other. Is do things that support your heart, your back. What are things that you love? What are things that support you? Both that, both things, both questions that correlate to the heart and the back. Maybe it's time to go outside more, all of the, like every card, but maybe it's time you move outside, right? Moving in a chariot, moving on a horse. Something powerful this month is in many areas of your life. We have quite a few major arcanas and then the Ace of Cups on the bottom. The reason why certain things are coming up so that you can see how these, this, maybe this person, this relationship has affected how you've seen yourself, right? How you've seen who you really are. What you've been hiding from yourself because of maybe fear or control or the lack thereof. And now you have kind of no choice but to listen. That your life, your purpose is almost demanding you. Now, if there is a mother figure that is being overly demanding because uh, you're a child or you're the parent being over demanding of the child in this season, just remember how that can also, yes, make yourself known as a parent, and um, of course, this is not an easy thing to do, but just notice like what the dynamic becomes, what it can become and how to get there and being honest about it. If there is another Aquarius in your life, things can move very quickly with this person. Um... But it seems like they might be bullshitting you or feeding you things that you no longer care about. It might be just an illusion figment. They're not, they're a person, but they're just maybe feeding you what you want to hear, giving you ideas. So just um, be wary of that connection. There's... The king and the knight, and then we have a lot of femininity coming out down here. Towards the end of the reading, you might be up against, you may find yourself up against um, integrating the mental and the heart right now because I heard this and I want to use this in the reading is that fulfillment isn't alone. And we don't have the ten any tens out right now except for the ten of swords, which that person is alone. Um... Me, I just yawned. But you need to hear it's just this season is things that just need to happen, things that need to shift and change that are gonna take work mentally and physically, and the emotions need to not take a back seat. They need they can either amplify or derail. <laughs> right. Um Whatever you're hiding from, whatever you're, or whatever you're protecting, because those two things can be in correlation not, and not different from each other, uh, is very obvious. 
Um, again, you may feel exposed in a way that feels uncomfortable, but this discomfort has to do with what is your driving force and is giving you strength. Another Leo card out. So by in the middle of the Capricorn new moon and to the Leo full moon, which will happen right in the beginning of February, uh, you may be given opportunities to stay and remain and find compassion for yourself in moments where you maybe don't know what to do or feel like you just want to let go. And yeah, you can, of course, but remember to give yourself the proper rest, love, and attention right now that you need. Because the better that you feel, of course, you're going to draw people towards you, but the energy that you need for the shift that's happening right now is not just ego-based. <laughs> but we have two cardinal signs clarifying. We have one clarifying the other, and, and more major arcana. So you will be looking for signs and the signs are inside these are two cards that also can relate to the ego it's really important that of course you boost your ego on wherever the direction is taking you but it's for the foundation of this and the support right you if there's a cancer in your life they may feel like Again, they just sound, they feel overbearing right now, but I think it's just because they're trying to be supportive. They just don't know how else to show it. But if you find that it is just a facade, because um, you can never get too close, then just trust that. Again, your internal judgment right now is being shifted, so just be careful. Clarifying the sun, the Leo, high priestess. Oh, sorry. Um, the relationship or this relationship with having attention may give you a lot of insight about where your growth point in, is in that and how... Also, this person may show you, if you do have a Leo in your life, they may reveal to you, this could also be a Gemini too, that your fruit comes from not always observing it. Her fruit sits behind her. She trusts. There's a knowing. There's an in-between, this black and white. There's questions. This may be a very spiritual moment for you under this. Very, which can be a very superficial sign of the Leo full moon, perhaps. But this person may be revealed to you to be a deeply spiritual person. And that is something that you can work with. Or someone that you, inspires you. Either way, around this time, you may be inspired in this way, you may find yourself turning towards um, some kind of belief, whether it be grounded in religion or in spirituality. You're searching for what you can always find right at your feet. You know that what you have, the abundance, the gratitude that you can give the life around you, and how you can utilize it is such a big part of why humans continue to prosper or continue to go there's a drive there's a hunger to learn more that you might just want to that you have been inspired to look not from where you are but to go somewhere where you have Maybe no power or control, no familiarity. So you might travel or do something that is different, gets you out of your comfort zone, especially in terms of how you perceive the world, 
how you perceive creating, receiving income. This, we talked about investment in the beginning, and I just kind of want to circle back to it. This investment in the security in which you know yourself is really important. Because what you may find is that you've been sitting on something this whole time. But just remember that it's always worth the search, isn't it? It's They say it's about the journey, and that's what Sagittarius definitely says. We have so many planets that have will enter Capricorn from two days, actually yesterday, till the 23rd. So having all of these different things in Capricorn has you asking questions in which you're you see your value or you can see yourself growing in one direction or maybe cutting something off and changing you know there's always somewhere to grow something to do says capricorn right <laughs> and the more that you act upon things that make sense for you right now and that you feel connected to that give you more responsibility, maybe even more control in your life. That kind of security brings you so much more, so much more of an experience in the world you've already created. And then there's these moments where you find even these subtle moments that you can reflect on that where the change and the transformation is beginning to happen. Where you can refine yourself or invest energy into yourself and time into yourself in a way that is going to amplify what it is that you are connecting to on a very high level, spiritual level. That may be giving yourself space from how much you think you control to the power around you, the space, Aquarius, the space around you, right? It's like the more you understand, the less you have time to doubt, the more you can discover the more you can build focus. This month is about focusing for you more on the, you know, how those connect. And then next month, it's definitely more mental as most of it will be shifting into your sign. <laughs> so we want to get the physical down. And if you need, if there's anything I can re recommend to you is movement in any way possible, or supporting those sex organs. If you're wanting to have children or not, just finding a way or checking on them a little extra, right? Throughout the course of this transit. And how you can support your bones, your ankles, your calves. It's interesting because the ankles I've learned, which is obvious to me, but they're, you know, they're the neck of the feet. And that there's two. So it's like double that trust and that connection between the body and the higher mind, higher power. That might bring you so much more than you even expect. See you next month.